Okay, today we're gonna graph rational functions. Uh, we're gonna graph rational functions. And rational function, um, as, you, as you know, is just um, you know, a, po a polynomial divided by a polynomial. E even, even a very simple one, like uh, x to the zero, which is actually just the you know, same as one over x squared. Uh, that's also a rational function. Um, turns out they're actually quite easy to graph. And the reason it is, is because most of your rational functions have asymptotes, okay? Um, and basically that's just a, you know, a, an area where the function is not defined, but it, it kind of sort of blows up, okay? Notice as we approach x right here, uh, the graph goes up to infinity and then it goes down to negative infinity right there. So um, it, the, the thing, actually what's happening is we're, we're kind of running into a, uh, divide by zero situation. So basically if we find a rational function and you know we set the denominator equal to zero, we will pretty much find out where this happens. And notice also you know you get a horizontal asymptote, same thing. Um, you know in this case as uh, as y approaches zero, um, you know the, the, this this graph goes out to infinity and this goes out to negative infinity, okay? Now the graph, the graphs never touch the asymptotes. Okay, the, I mean they they never ever uh, uh, touch those things. I mean there there's a couple cases where they might jump up and dive, you know, back over. But it, a good rule of thumb is on large scale behavior, like as you approach infinity, they never meet. Okay, so. Um, I guess we should just uh, go ahead and start. Um, no, notice also that we'll still use our uh, y-intercepts and we'll find our x-intercepts if there are any and we'll, we'll use those to uh, aid us in graphing these things. So uh, I want you to copy this down. Um, when I, graph, when I, when I uh, graph rational functions I don't memorize this thing. I just write everything down. Um, and then I, I just kind of you know set it aside while I'm doing my homework. So uh, y intercept um, still same thing. Nothing's changed there. F of zero. Evaluate the function at zero, and you have your y intercept. Um, you want your x intercept. Set the actual function itself to zero and find out um, what values of x will make that happen and a lot of times you can get away with just making the den the numerator zero okay because you run into this situation so if, if you can make the numerator zero usually you're good as well um vertical asymptote you know we're looking for this scenario right here this this divide by zero stuff so we just set the denominator equal to zero and then we solve for x and we'll, we'll basically have a, a situ a, a divide by zero situation um, horizontal asymptote, if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the numerator, then the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. So I, I just wrote just kind of a generic uh, kind of arbitrary function here, just some, you know, just, uh, you know, this reduces the one over x, but all that's important to know is that, you know, big, bigger denominator degree, um, the function approaches zero on large scale behavior. So there's your horizontal asymptote. Um, if, if the degree is the same, you use the lead coefficients of the polynomial. Okay, that's a, so that's your your largest degree term on each one of those. That's that's the one we're going to use. In this case, it's two thirds. So the actual asymptote would be y equals two thirds. Okay, um, and then the last scenario um, is it. If the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator, the asymptote simply doesn't exist. And the reason why is because on large scale behavior, just kind of look at this, you know, as x uh, goes off to infinity, it's going to overpower this x to the fifth. So, I mean, th this is basically going to reduce down to what's 12 minus 5? It's going to reduce down to x to the seventh. And as x you know, goes off to infinity, um, it's kind of take on infinity to the seventh power, if that makes any sense, which you can imagine is pretty huge. Um, 
not mathematically correct to write stuff down like that, but it's a good way to think about it, you know. So all this, so just this will just reduce down, and it'll it'll approach a very large number very quick. So let's. Um, I'm just gonna kind of. Well, actually, I think I might start a, a second video on there. I don't know if I have time to get into one of these yet. So I will see you in the next one, and we'll grab, we'll put this, uh, we'll put this stuff to you. So uh, go ahead and re rewind the video if you need to um, copy this thing down. Okay, thanks. See you in the next, or see you when we start graphing.